Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're headed to Big Piney, Wyoming to pick up our new animals. So we got a lot to do today in the video. Let's get into it. a car um, in Colorado from black ice I mean this is no joke so uh, just in case you guys saw those and were wondering where they were so we've got about 45 minutes and we are picking up our new farm animals so we'll catch you guys there Well, loading those was way easier than expected, but some of you guys guessed it on the last video, we got two cows. So these are steers. They're gonna be the start to our Highland herd. These are Highland cows. They're not the miniature ones. Uh, I've, I've heard a lot of bad things and mixed things about the miniature ones having a lot of health issues. So today we picked up two Highland cows, which are right in here. We've got hay in there, we got water. We got a three and a half hour drive home. So we need to hop back on the road and I'll kind of explain to you guys why more we went of these, but uh, I'm super excited. I'm way excited to get these guys home. I'm excited for Sam to meet them and excited to give them a great life. So we'll see you guys at home. All right, well, time to put the boots to use. We had to stop to get some fuel. Diesel currently is 567 a gallon. How you guys doing in here? You guys doing okay? Poor little guys are probably scared. Okay, I'll get you. Let's go. So I know some of the questions that we're going to be getting, uh, you know, why are we getting cattle, uh, specifically Highlander cattle? Now, 
I got these guys when they're calves. So Cozy's uh, about three months old and these calves are about three months old. And something, I mean, cows have always just been beautiful creatures. Cows and horses have always been beautiful creatures to me, just like I believe that Rottweilers are beautiful creatures. Um, <clears throat> one thing that I love about, you guys know us, we've got chickens, right? I love that chickens can take grain and, and scratch and turn it into something edible for the farm. And I can also give them a life and, and have them enjoy their life on the farm. So I love the fact that now I'm in a position where I can bring cattle onto the ranch and take care of them. And we have all that property. So we might as well turn the grass and the area into, you know, life and fun and, and, and soulfulness. And also if we need to, or if things got really crazy, we could turn that into food or something that's edible to feed families or neighbors or or anything like that or potentially even the dogs or um, other things on the animal or on on the ranch also you could use you know cattle to do cheese and milk and same thing with goats i mean there, there's just so many things so many reasons to have cattle and we're in the position to do it we have the land and honestly i mean cozy's gonna have like her own petting yeah. ranch farm petting zoo I don't even know she's that's like the most important thing to me is setting my children and my family up to have the best life and I mean not to say there's not going to be struggles we, we definitely have that but the, the important thing is to maximize the fun and enjoyment out of life so we got one stop to make on the way home I got to get a drill bit to put the gate in for these guys and we'll catch you at home I got some new tires because dad did a burnout and has no back tires. Yep. Cozy Poppins over here. Yeah, because little girl burns easy, huh? Because you don't Bless got your you. mama skin yet. Bless you. <coughs> hey, Cozy. Dad bought you something. You want to go see it? Sam hasn't seen him either. Nope. So I sent a picture, but hasn't seen him. I've got my Wrangler shorts on. I don't have cowboy boots yet, but I need some pink ones and so does Cozy. about that cozy your own highland cows two of them wow cozy look at wow. some cows how old are they three months old same as cozy and we were supposed to get them that's crazy because i could, like, when we got the goats it was right when i found out i was pregnant so uh -huh. <laughs> the goats are almost a year old and, and now these guys are three months and she's three months yep And we were supposed to get them last week, but they had a wean from their mama still. Yeah, so this is the second day that they've been away from their mama now. So we got to make them feel at home. Uh, this was a bale of hay that I left in there that they could eat off of. And they... <laughs> made a little bed out of it for the ride home. It and made a bed, yeah. So it was a three, three and a half hour drive home. Three and a half hour drive there. And uh, that was... I'm not used to driving like that anymore. I used to drive two hours each way to work every day, and now I'm just not used to that drive. What do you think? You waving at the cows? And do we know names yet? We mm, don't know, no. right? We don't know. You're gonna have to comment down below. These are our first Highland cows, so we needed something a little more on the tame side and mild side, so this is what we ended up with. We need names, two boy names, or girl name, and I actually don't even care. I said Maybell, but Colin said no. I said Simon. <laughs> The one and then she said Maybell and I was like, hmm. But then the more I was thinking about it on the way home, maybe it's Whoa! Oh, the wind is scaring you. The wind is scaring you. It's okay. We need to get you out of here and get you back in your pen. We're it's gonna okay. put them by the goats so that they're not lonely. Um, I, I don't know if it would be better to put them over by the goats. I don't know if it would be better to Jeez. Don't do that. Don't do that. 
instead. So they'll get used to us. Uh, we need to talk around them, you know, probably read them some books, brush their hairs, things like that to get them familiar with us right socialize. now. They're, they're scared. Yep, we got to socialize them, and <laughs> that's the fun scared. of having animals. Are you waving at them? <laughs> Her hair's so long, and she's starting to lose her hair in the back because she, when she lays down. We need to get in the back and get their their uh, gate set up and get them water and food and get these guys used to their new home. Woo! That we've made it back. We've created a little barrier here. We're gonna back the back of the trailer up right here. We're gonna open it and let them into their new area. I've got Jose out here helping me. I will. And then I've got Sam here to try and help me guide them into the gate, and then we'll close that. Here comes Dad the cows. Guys, ready for your new home or what? Here we go. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. All right, that was not near as exciting as it should have been. Mm. But it's better that way. Cozy. That was not near as exciting as it should have been, but it's better that way. That's how it was loading them too. They were like super easy loading. Thank you. Oh, she threw up on you, pulled your hair, and what? Oh man, they're in their pen for now. We set them back by the other cows, and hopefully this doesn't create like a reverse effect of that for like weeks instead of just, it'll take a couple days because they're away from their moms, but so. we got their water filled up. Looks like, oh, it looks like they're coming, coming to get some water. First drink of water at the Roddy Ranch. Mm. It's like when Lexi had her first drink of water. Remember that? Yeah, she drank forever. <laughs> yeah, she was she was thirsty girl. So we've got uh, the cow unloading process was super easy. We've got their little feeder buckets right here, which we'll throw some grain in to help uh, just kind of welcome them to the home. We got them a bale of hay there. I don't know exactly how much they're gonna eat yet, and we'll uh, we'll kind of figure out how much to throw for them daily. But right now, I just want to make sure that they have as much clean, fresh water as they need and as much food as they need to feel welcome at their new home. So if you guys aren't, follow us on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and everything. Don't forget to subscribe. Need a little seat for Cozy right here. Ugh. Hello, cowboy boots on. <laughs> oh. Cowboy boots and Wranglers? Yeah. We got all the cows talking to each other. These ones came to say hi. Yeah, these ones came to say hi. And then the horse back there came to say hi. <laughs> Drop it. She's holding the hand on this side. Oh. oh. What did I do wrong? <laughs> See that? Oh. 
she's distracted now. Oh yeah. She's mm -hmm. starting to learn there's more outside the world than just us. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so cute. First night in the pen. All right. How about you? Junior, come here. Do not rush them. 